Hi, and welcome to Faith Into Greatness. Today, I wanted to talk about how to combat people trying to bring down your esteem, you feeling good about yourself, you feeling confident. In this world, there are so many people that are so incredibly insecure. I don't want to say jealous because I don't buy jealousy. I don't buy into jealousy. Um, jealousy is really just such a wasted thing. And I feel like once people realize it's pointless to be jealous, they get out of that mindset. But I'll just say that there are so many people out there that are so insecure that wish that they had your confidence, your esteem, and more. And when they see somebody who's incredibly confident, whose emotions are intact, who is somebody who feels good about who they are, they will try to bring you down. It's inevitable. Bullies are a dime a dozen in this world, okay? And I know from an early age, from my father, started with my father bullying me and on, that, you know, people who are bullies are people who are hurt in general. Now, this is not a substitute for professional counseling. If you feel like you should always seek professional counseling regardless regarding your esteem, you should also remember something that you have to be patient with yourself. If you went through years and years and years and years of people like your parents and your siblings and people who you trusted, your guides telling you that you'll never amount to anything, that you're worthless, that you are nothing, then they, that that's going to take some time to break that type of pattern of thinking and those habits of thinking. You have to be patient with yourself. Stay in prayer. Understand that as you grow and as you become more confident, as the Lord transforms you, because you have to allow God to change you and to transform you, you're going to feel completely different. Remember to pray also for your brothers and sisters that are doing the bullying. A lot of times people that are bullying, they just don't really understand, first of all, the full magnitude of what's going on. Second, they don't really understand what they're feeling themselves, why they're doing what they're doing. They think that they're in the right, but they're actually not in the right. So you have to also be patient with others. Again, this is not a substitute for you seeking professional help in any capacity. Do what you need to do to have mental peace. But at the end of the day, it's up to you to validate and affirm yourself, not others. So if you're looking for validation from other people, it's not going to happen because once you meet somebody who thinks they're better than you, they're going to try and find ways to bring you down. I hope this message blesses everybody. I hope you all stay motivated and inspired and empowered. Here's to success. Take care and God bless.